So those, see by your knee, the silver thing? Huh? Yeah, go ahead and pull that open. And the other side. Pull those vents? Yeah. I want some air conditioning, don't yeah, I? Yeah, I'm sold on that idea. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He's barely getting off. That's flaps. Yeah. Long time since I flew a Cessna. Tell him you might climb better with your flaps up. Mm -hmm. I already figured it out. Let's see if he was doing the soft. Or so I'm gonna remember to keep my feet off of stuff. <laughs> Hard to have a great. Formation flying. Oh yeah. So this looks pretty familiar. You can throw that GoPro on if you want now. Okay.
So in formation flying, you don't really use the ailerons, you move with the rudder. Yeah. Would that work here too? Yeah. Okay. So see how you're getting low, you're getting in this yeah, block. Yeah, I can feel it. You're, you're not used to flying in the mountains, there's a different horizon in the mountains. There's no horizon. <laughs> yeah. Well, you actually, your brain learns to put one there. So you gotta put the tent, top of his rudder on his head. You're still low. Not here. Like that? Right about here. Okay. Now you're level with him, even though it doesn't look funny. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to have to work today. <laughs> the rudder takes a lot of, a lot of motion, a lot of motion. Yeah. Well, my airplane is really short coupled, so a little rudder goes a long way. Do you get airsick easy? Not really, no. Well, we'll find out. The first time, next time I do it, will be the first time I do. You get a glider out on real easy. This is one of the hardest parts to figure out. I'm a CFI, so I can log this if you brought your log book. I didn't. You did it? I did not. I got a lot of slacking out there, guys. A little slack in the rope. Oh, see, it's the, there we go. It's a lot easier when we're in the smooth air. takes up that slack. What's that? It's a little more gentle than I thought it would be when it takes up the slack in the rope. Yeah. Expected more a little more of a tug. We're pretty efficient, so it doesn't take much to keep us in the air. Okay. Yeah, sure. Your airplane. I'm gonna get him to go to the right a little bit. Whether he wants to or doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I pull a sail over and then I'll turn. Yeah. So I think there's a thermal over here. You want to fly again? Go ahead. I'm going to take some. Yeah. You fly. We'll come back to that. There's everybody that's in the airplane today. Video me right when I was popping my ears. Perfect. <laughs> hey, you want a better one? There you go. Here's everybody that's in the airplane today. Right? Got a video me right when I was popping my ears. Perfect. <laughs> hey, you want a better one? There you go. Same legal altitude. <laughs> What's that? When I lapse to LSA, I can't go over 10,000 feet anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. Not that I ever did because we're 900 MSL. Why do they have that restriction, I wonder? I, I don't know. The whole thing was designed by committee. It's a weird set of rules. 
So I built my airplane. You don't need a medical, right? No. But you need an airplane license. Yes. But it's an easier one to get. It's it's different from the private. It's 20 but hours. You can still fly with a private though, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I just lost my night and 10,000 foot privileges. So I'm going to go fly a light sport in California. I'm going to see how far I can fly it in six hours. I need to get 12 hours in this type of airplane. Uh, tailwheel. It's a 1946 Veronica Champ, 65 horsepower. Does it have an electrical system? No. Hand prop? Yep. Yep. Heel brakes? Yep. Oh, I hated heel brakes. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. You don't really need the brakes. Well, and it was 29 bucks an hour, so. This one's 65. Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah. This one's 65 a long time. now. I've been flying now for 35 years. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and release. You ready? Yeah, hold on. Go. There we go. Did you say you have been on a glider before? Yeah. Not in the mountains, in Latt, Ohio. I'm hoping there's a thermal under this cloud over here. And it was always one of those up and down rides. You know, I took out, dropped the rope, came back down, didn't really hunt out any thermal. Just kind of like a into That's a ride. how we usually do rides yeah. because people get sick. Yeah, it was like that. All right, here we go. So the RV6 was aerobatic. What's that? My RV6 was aerobatic. Oh, nice. So, so was this one. So it was loops and rolls and that stuff. Oh, I didn't, no, no, I didn't no. sit on the center line, though. The rolls were terrible because you're off on the center line. Oh. So you're kind of whooping around. It made me, that made me a little crazy. <laughs> Sitting on the center line is not as bad. Let me know the second you start feeling bad. All right. Well, don't take it as a challenge. <laughs> oh. Haven't eaten all day, so it wouldn't be much. Many pilots are the most like forward about it. They're like, oh, I'll probably get sick. Like, I might get sick. Non-pilots are like, nope, won't get sick. Won't get sick. Oh, when they start asking for more air, I need more air, dude. We're doing 180 miles an hour. If you haven't got enough air, that means you're getting sick. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why when I was building them on the new airplane, I called them the air sickness detectors. Those clouds get bigger. I just have to find the thermal We're kind of in it. We're just not going up as fast as I want. We've gained five, four hundred feet. Kind of noisy back there. Yeah. This is one of the noisiest gliders there is. See all the boulder. <laughs> yeah. Normally I don't get this high on rides. People get sick. Just from the turning? Because it's oh, yeah. not bumpy. No, the turning really gets people. I guess I didn't see that.
one guy got too low back there and had to land in that lane. Oh. Now he got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. What's this here? Well, that's the town of Netherlands. Net oh, I've been there. I had breakfast at Dot Steiner. Oh, yeah? Oh. Pretty sweet, huh? Yep. Yeah, feel that air cooling off. Netherland. All right, you ready to try a spin? Yeah, hold on. Let me lock some shit up here. I'll just hold this one. All right, let her rip. I'll just recover from the stall, man. I get my feet away and everything, don't I? That's quite a view. They all kind of oscillate. Look at her descent, yeah. right? Wow. There's some G's. Oh. <laughs> Last time I did that was in a Spearman biplane. Yeah. Not the same thing at all. Very gentle in a Spearman. What's it like? Very gentle. Right? Yeah, Spearman doesn't do it. I didn't want to sit in it as good. I think we're a little light in the front. Yeah, that's me. Normally, wouldn't that make it better, though? Yeah. That was fun. Oh, there I got a good pop. I can hear again. <laughs> now you say there's people up here? There usually is. Climbers? Uh, yeah, I've gotten people to wave at me quite a bit. Yeah, I see so many, two people. Oh yeah, I got him. Red and a black shirt. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's going to be some good video. You don't get this in Ohio, do you? Nope. See how it's all blue here, and then it's like yeah. a line of unstable air? Yep. Well, university is Narrow runway, from my experience. <laughs> how wide is the runway? Uh, it's that little thing how, we took off. How wide? How wide? Yeah, is that 10 feet? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, 
my first solo landing in a Mooney was on a taxiway because the runway was closed. Really? Yeah, that was interesting. Now I'll show you kind of an interesting landing. I'll show you how effective these air brakes are. Okay.